drugs. And we just encountered some people that I'm pretty sure pickpocket. But you know, I caught them, you know. A scammer always catches the scammer. We just got to the airport and we have to go check in now. It's fucking loud. So we just got our coffee and then now we're just gonna go to our terminal and sit in our lounge. I'm scared of my life to see a rat in New York. I don't give a fuck. If I see a rat, I will fly back immediately and I will cry. We just got to New York and it is freezing. We're currently at the Uber location because they're gonna pick us up. And I did not anticipate that it was gonna be this fucking cold. Like, I am shaking right now, like it's freezing. But we're getting picked up by the Uber and we're gonna go to the hotel and drop our bags until we're allowed to check in, so. We got to the hotel and we checked in but our room's not ready yet so we just left our bags until the room's ready and right now we're currently walking down Manhattan. We're gonna go check out the city. because it was freezing balls outside like you don't understand like it was bad but we're a little too tired so we're gonna wait until we check well until we get our room because our room's still not ready and we're gonna take a nap and then get ready and then head back out to the world we are currently at the hotel and we are gonna leave in just a bit but basically what happened was we fell asleep woke up lacking sense of time or location that we were at <laughs> kind of tough and right now we're just gonna go out to eat because i haven't ate and i'm probably gonna faint if i don't eat soon so first things first We haven't eaten yet, and that's very bad for me, especially me. I'm not looking for anything in specific, so we're just gonna walk around and see what we end up finding. When we got to the hotel, everybody was knocked out, so I didn't get to sleep because, you know, me being the responsible 19-year-old, I had to check in, even though I'm a minor and I couldn't check in, but I still did it because I was nice to the, the girl up there and she didn't even ask for Fatima's ID. I was like, so we made it to Times Square and right before we got here I'm gonna insert the clip of a guy we just met who offered us Well, didn't offer us alcohol But told us the hookup of where we could go and drink since we're under age Which I mean I'm pretty sure it's legal So I am not condemning that this is the right thing to do But you know, who knows Actually no, I would not drink because I am paranoid Now there are clubs down here what do you do, 19, 21, as long as you 18 and up, and they got drinks, okay? Long Island iced tea, please take my word for it. I cost you like $8, but I promise you, two of those, you be doing this. <laughs> you be like, hey. like these cute tables like on the street it's pretty freaking cool like some pretty cute pictures will probably be taken here we don't know we'll see but i attempted to take some pictures and it was kind of rough because people kept getting in front of me and i was like okay, no, who knows i'm currently taking pictures of our dearly beloved here 
Wait, like this high or like the lights here is just like or lower? A little closer. lower. Closer? Closer, yeah. Okay. Update, I still haven't had a single meal today, but I'm still doing fine, so I think I should be good. We're still looking for somewhere to eat, and crowds are just, there's people everywhere. Kind of normal, I mean, I'm not, it doesn't bug me, but... Surprisingly, it is warmer than it was earlier, which doesn't make any sense to me. So we ended up finding where to eat. So we're fucking eating McDonald's, like, don't judge us, like, we give up. We're just trying to eat, because I haven't eaten anything. I will say it's a little bit pricier in NYU than like New York City. Something to, yeah, than NYU. Something to keep in mind, you know, taxes and you know prices go up. And it does not taste the same. I will say that McDonald's in California probably a little bit better. Proof by me. We're back in the hotel room, you know, out here. I can't take the shoes. What happened today? Um, today was kind of, I don't want to say a mess, but it was probably like the most unorganized day today. So basically what happened is we catched our flight at 11 p.m. on Thursday. We got here at 7 a.m. So we got to Queens at 7 a.m. And then from there, I called the Uva Java and we got dropped off at the hotel. So originally, our check-in time was 3 p.m. But I had called earlier to see if we could check in earlier, but they said it was on a day-to-day -day basis, so they couldn't like allow us to check in until the day of, because they had to see if the room was available or not. So we, come at, we got here at 9 in the morning, so it was like an hour and a half drive from the airport to the hotel. And we dropped off our bags, and we checked, the, we checked our bags in, and then we could go and like do whatever we wanted and they said they were gonna text us when our room was ready that was 9 a.m. we waited till 1 p.m. and the whole reason why we waited so long was because I guess they had rooms available that we had like for the room that we wanted to book but the thing was that they wanted to put us in the top floor so nothing was ready in the top floor like uh, I really don't care like I want a room because I want to take a fucking nap so we, I took a nap Woke up, disorientated, didn't know where I was, head hurt. I felt fucked up in the head more than I already do. And yeah, and then from there we kind of got ready and we went out and that's basically what we've done. And now we're back in the hotel. And we're kind of like changing, like more comfortable and we're just gonna go walk around and kind of see like what the hotel has to offer for us. You know, since we did pay a lot of money to stay here. Yeah, this is sponsored by the Hudson Hotel, you know, I only paid $1,700 to stay here. Very cheap. I recommend it. <laughs> so yeah, so we're gonna go see all the amenities that are here. I think that's the right word. Who knows?